Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at Luis Hernandez, the Mexican, the speed demon himself. Four star skills with a three star weak foot. High medium work rates look really nice. Look at the pace, incredible. Really nice shooting. His ability to dribble and head the ball makes him very, very unique. He's got them beautiful, beautiful blonde long hair. He's got beautiful blonde long hair and he really, out, he really does stick out like a sore thumb in game. But that's one thing I love about this card. I love the fact how fast he is. Jeez, he's so, so quick. Coupled with a good dribbling as well, he feels absolutely rapid. And he'd get to majority of the through balls that he sent, unless they get intercepted. That's another story. Now, when it comes to Luis Hernandez, not only is he a really good striker, I think he could play Cam, he could play Lam and Ram. He can play left wing, right wing. This card is very, very versatile. I love him. Because of the sheer pace he brings, he can head the ball, he's shooting on his right foot, it's absolutely sensational. His Traveller shots are also really, really good. He's got good finesse shots as well. See, this guy's got a really good plethora of different ability. He's got a lot of ability to score, you know, in, in various different ways. Whether he's heading the ball, whether it's a Traveller, a finesse, a power shot, whatever. That makes him a really, really usable icon. On top of that, he's got really, really classy dribbling. You know, that's, that's another thing about Luis Hernandez. He's just, he's got that kind of dribbling that will, that will honestly cause a big problem with you guys if you're trying to defend against him. Luis Hernandez, the issues with him that I have, right, he hasn't got the best weak foot because he's only got a three-star weak foot. He's relatively weak. Them are the two things that I found about this card that I didn't particularly like about him. His passing is decent, is nothing special. His short pass is okay, but I wouldn't try long passing with him per se. His stamina towards the end of the game could be a bit of an issue. However, considering how fast he is and how long he can last, it's pretty good, you know. So Luis Hernandez is definitely a very, very usable icon. Considering that he's only 200, I think he's like... Two, uh, He's like 220,000 coins, something along them lines. I think this card is really good value. For 220,000 coins, you're getting somebody who's an absolute sensational striker. I think when it comes to value, this might be up there as the best value icon striker I've used so far. I really do think that because you're getting incredible pace, incredible finishing. He can head the ball as well. He's really he's got really nice agility and balance. He's got really nice dribbling. Okay, yes, he's got a three-star weak foot, and yes, he's weak. But every every card in the game, besides the very very meta icons that you have to pay millions for, have gone have have not got any issues per se, not any major problems anyway. So when you're considering you're only paying two hundred thousand odd coins for this guy, it makes it a very very good steal deal, and that's why I'm going to give this guy a fantastic value. For, for rating so when it comes to rating i'm going to really factor that in that he's only he's only 200 and like 15 000 coins and for what he brings to the table it is it is very 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 good uh, okay and i have mentioned that he's got weaknesses but when you look at what he overall brings to the table it's an impressive package to say the least a very very affordable financially viable icon i would say and that's why i'm more than happy to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10 thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one hernandez is definitely getting me is getting a thumbs up for me i think 100 percent you should purchase this guy he's brilliant thank you hernandez